get harder comb with spectacular views of Interlaken. Now we're headed to the top of Europe, Jungfrau Jo. Our journey begins in Grindelwald on the Eiger Express gondola. As you climb into the top, you get a magnificent view of the treacherous north face of Eiger Mountain, first climbed by a German-Austrian party back in 1938. At this point, you may be asking yourself, what even is a Jungfrau Yoke? Glad you asked, because I didn't know either, but it's basically a glacial pass between the Jungfrau and Monch Mountains. After the quick 15 minute gondola ride, it was time to make our transfer to train at the Agerglitscher Railway Station. <coughs> Next stop is Eismere Railway Station, located directly in the Eiger Mountain at 10,364 feet above sea level. We've got to hurry because you only get five minutes to deboard the train, take your pictures, and reboard. Eismere is the second highest railway station in Europe. The first, Jungfraujo. The monitors in the train are excellent information sources and are provided in multiple languages, including English, French, and German. When we reach the top, we make our way to the Sphinx Observatory. Sphinx Research Station, 1936. This astronomical observatory is one of the highest observatories in the world and has been featured in mainstream movies and television shows. stop is the ice palace but not before taking in some of the arts that make up the Swiss culture. <laughs> the wall of plaques here stands in memorial to those that lost their lives building this station. Now it's time to ice skate with regular shoes on and believe me these ice halls are slippery. Welcome to the ice palace. Take in a number of ice sculptures, including a person playing a piano and an ice bar. Please, bartender. Gin and tonic. Looks like people put, like, it's circles here. I think they did that on purpose. Yeah. How do you look at it? Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. You know what else ice is good for? That's right, storing barreled whiskey. You can get a taste of this whiskey in the restaurant at the top or buy your very own in the gift shop. It's not working. <laughs> so just how cold is it in the ice palace? Minus three degrees Celsius or 26.6 degrees Fahrenheit. After visiting the ice palace, we head out to the glacier plateau. That's right, we're going outside. <sighs> Where's my ski? All oh, the snowshoes we got on here. Oh my! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Guess what mountain that is in the background? That's right, that's Jungfrau. And here you can take a picture with the Swiss flag of Jungfrau Mountain in the background. Peering left as you walk outside, you can get a view of the Ilex Glacier.
Jungfrau Joch. Jungfrau Joch. I feel so good. I can stay out here all day long. You can also get a great view of the Sphinx Observatory from the outside. On the way out, stop at the gift shop. Have your fat wallet or your black credit card ready. Here you can find everything from clothing to fine Swiss timepieces. Now we found there was a price difference between the bottom of the mountain and the top of the mountain, so be aware. Now that shopping and walking is gonna make you hungry, so head on over to the Lint Chocolate Store and get yourself some of that yummy chocolate. And if you're looking for a more hearty meal, head up to the restaurant. Here you can grab some of your favorite eats and enjoy spectacular views through the windows. It was getting late and we had one more stop planned, so it was time for us to head on down the mountain. It's like a whole new world as you take the gondola down the mountain because you get a whole different perspective of the valley below. You know me, you know I love to camp, so I was eyeing up this campground as well. So are you wondering about the translation of Jungfrau Jok? I was, so I looked it up so you wouldn't have to. Jok means pass and Jungfrau means virgin or maiden. So Jungfrau Jok is the virgin pass. Finally make it back to the bottom. Next stop, Vindavald. We jumped the train to Vindavald. Things didn't work out as expected. There's a me cola right there. <laughs> Oh my god, it's hot. Rico, right there. I need the sunscreen. Uh, it's a very traditional, what you would think. Of. If I were to tell you to close your eyes and picture a traditional Swiss town in the mountains, then you'd probably think of Windelwald. But you're gonna have to wait till the next video to find out more folks. This trip is not finished yet. We have a ton more of Switzerland to see, so stay tuned.